Hello, we're going to do a Capricorn calibration. Capricorn coming into mid October 2022, please. Anyone born between December 22nd and January 20th? Inconsistency and change. Trouble and loss. Okay, off the top. In an environment... It might look like uh, we're dealing with motivation, motivation, motive, MO, method of operation, how we operate, being motivated about it. Our self, uh, trying to bring peace into bringing peace and harmony. into it um, a little greedy greedy something's greedy someone's greedy In disguise, by being very generous, giving out that charity. We're getting what we want. In mid-October. We can see. Um, someone swallow their pride. doing things because we are proud doing things to keep our pride very proud shift and change and swallowing my pride when it comes to being very creative and building a Disguise. Uh, 
um, being unfaithful. They make somebody feel like someone is unfaithful. Or we're not being unfaithful in order to get what we want. But feeling very depressed, bitter, you know, taking the, the it is, I, I care about myself. I love myself, Capricorn. I hear... I am I am at peace with this very admired someone is I I I am admired for my jokes What we do together, your wealth, your success, it enables me, what you have that you give me, and it, it's good for me. You are kind, you are being very generous and very Sympathetic. With your possessions. With yourself. With your home, your money, and everything that you've got. Why is Capricorn so insensitive? Or where is it for Capricorn that there is a sense of insensitivity that someone doesn't care is what I'm getting off of this reading. I mentioned greed, yada, yada, yada. I believe that there's a sense of someone's doesn't care. What happens? <clears throat> and that's all groovy. Let me know down in the comment box below what your situation's like. Welcome back subscribers. I love you guys so much. Welcome new people. Thank you for your views. I hope everybody hits that like button for me today. If your situation going into mid-October 2022 kind of looks like this. Somebody being, you know, weak. Um, there's immaturity. Immaturity and lack of conviction can render somebody feeble and ineffective. So, if we're dealing with somebody who is unable to do something because they're feeble, maybe they have a health issue, maybe um, they have an issue. So, I'm not going to put that on Capricorn, but however that energy fits, it could be a message in that greed makes us look weak. Um, the veil is very thin right now, this time of year, as they say. So, how do we calibrate this for you? Give me just a second. I'm going to pause the video. 
Okay, okay, okay. So on both sides of Earth energy right here, we have weak, feeble, feeble, weak. Around, that's proof there to me. I feel confident in that. And that is why Earth energy is fairly troubled and at a loss. You know? Oh. Okay. And I think that I think that makes earth energy feel like how much should I give of myself and my time and my money? Which is honest enough there. You know, I mean, greed is just a word to explain. So it was something I want to do for myself as opposed to other people. And we saw self-love, self-care. You know, I love myself. I do. Just the energy about could be both parties in the situation right certainly I mean here I do see we have uh, kids and sports and maybe we don't have to deal with that stuff as much anymore maybe we're unable to have kids and sports in that kind of creative lifestyle around but this is certain to certain to change as we are very creative. It's like your natural habitat as a Capricorn. Your most natural habitat is revelation and determination determination, right? I mean, like, are you not the most determinated individual that you know? Because <laughs> you're very determined. And this is your natural habitat. Revelation. Revealing. Having that light bulb goes over my head, you know? I get wrapped up in this Six of Pentacles, generosity and charity. I have enough to give. There's no doubt about that. Very generous. And I'm very able to share my material wealth with others. You know, we like the good life and we like the comfort, which is exactly about right for you. How do we calibrate what's going to happen? Coming into mid-October, this strength in reverse, as we see we're coming into... Possibly swallowing my pride. Which makes even more sense to me now that I've read the cards. Swallowing my pride. This is my natural habitat. I've given, I've let somebody, I've let some energy in again where I'm giving. They are somewhat feeble and unable to do for themselves. I've got plenty. Come on in. And um, this person can only barely take care of themselves mid October. 
swallowing my pride. I'm in my natural habitat. Capricorn. Can we please clarify the strength in reverse? October 2022. Please. Asking spirit. To calibrate. I am energetic, hot, wild, and unpredictable. Right? But it's a struggle. It is such a risk. Beware of apathy and indecision. If we, uh, if you don't make a decision, Aware of apathy and indecision. And comes enlightenment. In this struggle, uh, someone needs all of their mental power to overcome this opposition. So you will need to stay clear-headed. You will need to stay clear-headed. Someone will need to stay clear-headed. We need to make a decision with a clear mind. the gopher, you can stay down in there, wrapped around this, and this giving, and the giving, and the giving, or you can take that first step, make that decision, and come up into the warmth of the sun, Capricorn. Please clarify this Five of Wands. Please. You need all your mental powers to overcome the opposition. Use the utmost integrity and resource. Just use integrity. Making that decision. I think that's the Queen of Swords, and while we want to just, you know, make jokes about it, right? 
because they're already liking your humor. They like you especially for your humor. So while we just want to make jokes about it, to make it peaceful and happy and uh, feeling like I want to, you know, somebody who really wants to enjoy that security and peaceful environment. And that's how we're dealing with it. Be thinking of having more of the, you know, the mindset of creating a new plan. You know, we have to create a new plan and hope for the best. You're facing a very powerful opposition, Capricorn. And prudence will overcome those dangers and bring success. Being very prudent mid-October is going to be necessary. All right. All right. Let's see how many more cards we can pull before my camera shuts off for Capricorn. Clarifying this prudence that we need. How can we take prudence over this matter? be dealing with a water sign or somebody who has a lot of a very significant water placements in their birth chart but cancer scorpio pisces could be a female doesn't have to be feminine energy nonetheless all right please this five six seven of swords new plan and hope and facing very powerful opposition Capricorns what is that prudence you need to take prudence so we'll bring two of cups All right, great. So here we see energy will shift. Your environment will change mid-October 2022. It's going to look a little bit more like this, Earth energy. This is actually, let me see, let me look. The uh, Your personal finances and your possessions right, which we've been talking about for the past 23 and a half minutes. Going to look something like making a connection. I do feel that we will stay very dedicated to And continue to be overly kind and vulnerable to this energy around us. Mm-hmm. Again, very wise choice. The spirits are telling us it, to using that compassion here in order to maintain your guys' union in order to maintain feelings of passion and friendship, love and understanding between you and your partner. And looks like you guys can stay strong. Your connection is and it's like invincible. Right? And that's good. Just the other person's energy could match that. Looks like it does. If we calibrate that for you. Yeah. Looking good, guys. Good luck with your situation. 
We have a lot of very positive energy on the table. Most of that passion, um, most of the actions and everything is coming from you. What you're putting into this friendship, this love. It's very nice. Mid-October 2022. And even though the Hierophant was in reverse, we still deal with that connection. Again, I can't say it enough how dedicated we are. Cross Watchers, delight right there. And being nice and kind and maintaining our vulnerability. And it's kind of a very unorthodox way of doing things, but this situation is very unorthodox in our connection together, right? Beautiful, beautiful.